Algebra word problems number 7a, one-step equations with fractional coefficients. Okay, if you're a regular viewer, you know that we have a word problem strategy. So we read the problem, we underline or circle what's important, if that helps us, and we make a plan to solve the problem, figure out which operation we're going to use, add, subtract, multiply, divide, and how will we use the information, turn unknown amounts into variables. We make a table or draw a diagram if it's too confusing, and we can write the expression or equation, find the solution or simplify it, and then check to see if it's correct by plugging in our answer. So this, these two guys are going to be really important in the video. So I'm going to introduce you to 3 and x. 3 is a coefficient, and x is a variable. The coefficient is a number that's in front of a variable. They're buddies. If he didn't have this variable here, he would just be a standalone number. But because this x is tagging along with him, or an n, or a y, or a p, or a q, or whatever the variable is, he becomes a coefficient. And co is like a co-worker. See? They're buddies. All right? So now he's a coefficient because that variable is tagging along. All right? So to solve an equation with a fraction coefficient, we multiply each side of the equation by the reciprocal of the fraction. The variable, be left, the variable will be left alone, and the equation will be solved. What's a reciprocal, do you say? Well, that's very simple. If 3 eighths is the fraction coefficient, because let's say there's an x here, okay, then 8 thirds is the reciprocal. You just flip him upside down, see? There was a 3 as a numerator and an A as a denominator, and it got flipped around. That's the reciprocal. It's like the opposite, okay? So just flip them over. Make them stand on his head. So to solve for x, what we do is, if we have 2 fifths x equals 16, we put the reciprocal, the upside-down version of the fraction, on each side, okay? And we multiply each side of the equation by that reciprocal, this in this case, it's the 5 halves. Now, what happens is, when you multiply 5 times 2, you get 10, and 2 times 5, you get 10, and you get 10 over 10. So that's a 1. And you remember what happens when we have a 1 in front of a variable? We don't write it, because we can see there's only 1x. We don't need anyone to tell us there's 1x there. We can see that's 1x. Just tell me if there's 2 or more, right? Or 1 and a half, or something like that. But when there's just 1, you don't need to tell me there's one. I can see there's just one. Now we multiply this side by the reciprocal, the 5 halves. So let's open it up and expand it up. We're going to put 16 over 1 so that it looks more like a fraction. And we can cross out and cancel out then. So we've got 16 over 1 times 5 over 2. Well, this 2 and this 16 can cancel each other out as a 1 and an 8 because there's 1 2 here and 8 2s here. See? Now we have 8 times 5 over 1. Well, that's 40 over 1. So guess what? We've now isolated x to this side by itself, and we know it equals 40. See? We left him standing by himself on that one side. All right, so let's see what we can do with these word problems. Going to write an equation for the problem and solve for the variable. Bob spends two-fifths of his time in the office on the phone with clients. If his client phone calls take 14 hours each week, how many total hours, h is going to be our variable, how many total hours does he work each week? So our unknown is the h. It's the hours that he works each week, right? So our equation is going to be 2 fifths h is equal to 14. Do you see how I got that? Because that's 2 fifths of his time, which is the hours, and 14 is how much time he spends on the phone all the time, see? So to find out his total work hours, we need to do 2 fifths h equals 14. To find out how 14 is 2 fifths of something, okay? So we put the reciprocal for 2 fifths on each side, and that makes these guys turn into 10 over 10, which is equal to 1. And we don't need to write that 1 in front of the h. We know there's only 1 h there. We open this up as a fraction and put 14 over 1 times 5 over 2. And then here we get to cancel out. There's one two here and seven twos in the 14, so that's a one and that's a seven. And that leaves us with seven times five over one, which is 35 over one, which means h 
isolated all by itself on this side now is 35 hours that he works each week. See? So do you see how I got that from the word problem? Okay? So it's a little it's a little tougher when you're doing it out of a book because right now you know that we're working with fraction coefficients. So I want you to be able to understand how we did this if you don't know that it's going to be a fraction coefficient and that you're just given this problem and need to solve it. You need to identify that in a word problem like this, you're going to take the two-fifths and the variable and you're going to try to isolate that variable to one side like that with a reciprocal, okay? All right, let's try it one more time. Dave sells cars. Five-eighths of the cars he sells are foreign-made. And if he sold 50 foreign-made cars last year, how many total cars C did he sell? So we're representing total cars with a letter C as the variable, okay? So that's our unknown. C is the total cars he sold. Our equation is going to be, do you see the fraction 5 eighths, even though it's in words? 5 eighths C is going to equal the 50, okay? Now, it doesn't have to be on this side. I could have written it the other way, you know. I could have written it as 50 equals 5 eighths C. I could have done it that way, all right? It's just easier when it's this way because when we do our reciprocal on the outsides, the C is shoved over by the equal sign. See that? So that's why it makes it easier because then we can do this and we don't have that C in the way. See? If we did it this way, we'd have to kind of ignore the C as we multiplied the reciprocal. So that's why they like to put that on this side. All right? Just so you understand. So here's our solution. We had to put the reciprocal 8 fifths, which is 5 eighths flipped, on each side. And that turned this into 8 times 5 is 40 over 8 times 5 is 40. 40 fortieths is a 1. So now we know there's 1 C here. We open this up as a fraction, 50 over 1 times 8 over 5. And this 5 turns into a 1. There's 1 5 here, and there's 10 5s here. So that's a 1 and that's a 10. They cancel each other out that way. Now we've got 10 times 8 over 1. That's easy. That's 80. So C is equal to the 80 total cars he sold. We isolated it by itself to the one side. See that? So it's not that hard to do these. It's just rough sometimes to try to remember what you're supposed to do. Okay? Once you know, it's not really that big of a deal, is it? All right. I'm going to have some more examples in the next video, 7B, and I'll see you there. Bye.